guys blu-ray collection video this is another thank you for hitting 1,000 subscribers that was a while ago been putting this off because I've been wanting to do this I just needed a lot of time to do this because there are so many goddamn movies in this collection that I just need a lot of time uh, this is going to be me telling you all of my blu-rays this is gonna be a rapid fire session there is no way I can go through a story for all these blu-rays my take you know, might take a little extra time to tell a couple of stories. There's one in particular uh, when we get to the R's that I'm going to tell you a little bit about. But other than that, this is a rapid fire session because otherwise we're going to be here all day. So I'm just going to say that. So let's get started with this collection. First one's first, in alphabetical order. Ten things I hate about you. Twelve monkeys. Twelve strong. Twelve years a slave. 127 Hours, fantastic movie. 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, one of Michael Bay's not terrible films. Uh, those are few and far between. Two Guns, 2001 A Space Odyssey, classic movie. 21. 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street, two of my favorite comedies. 28 Days Later. 28 Weeks Later. I have yet to see 28 Weeks Later, honestly. There are, are going to be a lot of movies in this collection that I have yet to see. I'm working on it, okay? One of my favorite westerns of all time, and it is a remake. 310 to Yuma. Three Days of the Condor. 30 Days a Night. Underrated horror film, if you ask me. 300. 300, Rise of an Empire. Well, could have done without that one. 42. Fifty First Dates, The A Team, Abominable, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Such a dumb movie, but I love watching it around Halloween time. Absolute Power, The Accountant, both Ace Ventura films, Pet Detective, and When Nature Calls, cause you just gotta have them. That's already a mess. Across the Universe, Dad Dastra, just kidding, Ad Astra, The Adventures of Tintin, Air Force One, Get Off My Plane, Akira, the live-action Aladdin remake, the original Aladdin classic, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. And, uh, Return of Jafar and Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Why? Well, because I watched these when I was little. I was a complete, I'm a completionist. I really do not hate Return of Jafar or Aladdin and the King of Thieves. I remember when I was little, my brother used to tell me that Aladdin's father in Aladdin and the King of Thieves was voiced by Sean Connery. And it's not. It's voiced by the guy who plays Gimli, John Ray Stevens. Alexander, the final cut. The best version of this movie, honestly. Alien Covenant. Underrated film. Alita Battle Angel. All the Money in the World. <clears throat> All the President's Men. Have yet to watch it. Heard nothing but great things. Allied. Alpha. Amadeus. Have yet to watch this. Heard nothing but great things, but it's three goddamn hours. Jesus Christ. American Gangster. American History X. American Hustle, American Psycho, American Sniper, and American Werewolf in London, and Amistad. Not American Amistad, but for the sake of consistency and comedy, I wish that it was. Anchorman. Not Anchorman 2. Angel Has Fallen. Not a terrible movie. Way better than London Has Fallen, I'll say that. Anger Management. Animal House, Annabelle Creation, Annabelle Comes Home, not the original Annabelle, the original Annabelle sucks, uh, Annabelle Comes Home, I don't really need to own that, but I thought it was fine, Annihilation, awesome, sci-fi movie, fantastic, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, underrated, Anthropoid, Apocalypse Now, Apollo 13, 
Aquaman. Arctic. Argo. Argo, fuck yourself. Arrival. Crazy movie. Really great directing by Denis Villeneuve. Arthur Christmas. Assassin's Creed, a movie that I liked when I first saw it in the theaters and now I don't really like all that much. The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Still have yet to see it because it's two hours and 40. Yeah, I'm fine with movies like Adventures and possibly the new James Bond movie being three hours. Assault on Precinct 13, the remake. Atomic Blonde. The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Underrated horror. If you haven't seen this, definitely check it out. Avatar. We're going to get like seven of those movies, aren't we? Jesus. The Avengers. Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Infinity War. And Avengers Endgame. Avengers! Assemble! The Aviator. Awakenings. Fantastic film. Baby Driver, all you need is one killer trick. Backdraft, cheesy as hell 90s movie. It's terrible, but I love it. It's so stupid. Oh, man, it's not that good, though. So I recently just saw the third one of this. I haven't seen these movies in a while, so I went into the third one blind without a refresher. But Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad Santa. My favorite movie of 2018, an underrated movie at that, Bad Times at the El Royale. This movie is fantastic. Love that movie. The Bank Job. Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. Batman, Gotham by Gaslight. Batman Hush, really disappointed with Batman Hush. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, fantastic. Batman, Under the Red Hood, best animated Batman film. Mark my words. Batman vs. the Ninja Turtles. Or Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So those are all my animated Batman films. The Bear, really, really good film. We had it on my shelf forever when I was little. We had it on DVD. Never watched it. It took me years to watch this movie. I'm glad I finally did. This is a very, very good film. A Beautiful Mind. Beauty and the Beast live action remake. Yes, I am missing the original one. I have seen the original one. I just don't have it yet on Blu-ray. Beetlejuice. Better watch out. Don't hire a hot babysitter to babysit that kid. Beverly Hills Cop. And they all just fucked. Big. Big Hero 6. The Big Lebowski. The Big Short, we're in, the, just like with the Americans, we're, all, we're in the bigs now. Big Trouble in Little China, awesome, and I love this cover, the Shout Factory or Scream Factory editions. Anytime I can get my hands on a Shout Factory edition, I upgrade from the version that I previously had to this, be, just because I love the artwork on these things. It, these are great. Billy Madison. The Birdcage. Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock. Crazy movie. The Birth of a Nation, not as good as I think critics said it was, but I do think it is an underrated movie. Black Hawk Down. Black Klansman. Black, Ma Black Max. Black Panther. Black Swan. Black Hat. This movie is not good. I've gone on the record to call this movie Ass Hat. I was going to call it something else, but... Yeah, you probably know. Blade Runner. Classic. Blade Runner 2049. Fantastic. The Blind Side. Blind Spotting. Awesome movie. The Bling Ring. Eh, kind of an okay movie. Don't really need to own that Blu-ray, but... This is an awesome movie. Blood Diamond. One of my favorite DiCaprio movies. Blood Father. Below. 
Blue Ruin. Blue Thunder. Don't even know what this movie's about. I, it was just in the bargain bin. I saw it had a pretty decent rating on IMDb, so I was like, eh, why the hell not? Body of Lies. Bohemian Rhapsody. Boiler Room. Bolt. The Book of Eli. Book Smart. My favorite movies to watch around St. Paddy's Day, The Boondock Saints, and The Boondock Saints 2, All Saints Day. Can't believe it's taken them 10 years to make another one. Over 10 years now. We're never going to get a third one, are we? So, for those of you that know, I do have all the Bourne films in a box set. Uh, I got I got this before I had that box set. Uh, that is the Bourne Legacy. This is the worst of the Bourne films. It's very boring. Nothing really happens in this movie. It's it's very bland. Uh, and then I, I got this so that I could complete that box set, and that is Jason Bourne. A lot better than the Bourne Legacy, but nowhere near as good as the first three. Boys in the Hood. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Braveheart. We're just spies. A Bridge Too Far. I haven't even I haven't watched this yet either, so that's why I didn't really recognize it. I was like, what is this movie? Broken Arrow. Broken City. Brooklyn's Finest. Brothers. Bruce Almighty. You've got prayers. A Bug's Life. Old Durham. You'll see some older movies in this collection like Bullet. I like watching older movies from time to time. Bumblebee, the best Transformers movie yet. Probably the only good Transformers movie. The Cabin in the Woods. Caddyshack. Cape Fear. The Captain America trilogy. Captain America, the first Avenger. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Fantastic. Captain America, Civil War. My personal favorite of the trilogy. Captain Marvel. Captain Phillips. Captain Underpants. Between American Big and Captains, I'm so confused right now. Carlito's Way. Casablanca. One of the oldest films I own in this collection. This is a very good film. If you haven't seen Casablanca and you can sit through really old films, this is a fantastic classic. It was made in 1942. I really hope you, if you don't like old movies, I would say give this one a watch. Give The Wizard of Oz a watch. They're definitely classics. They're classics for a reason. I really wish people would would watch more older films. Casino. Casper! Childhood, man. Castaway. Wilson! Catch me if you can. Cellular. Underrated thriller. I really like that one a lot. Central Intelligence. Bought this when I bought just everything. <laughs> this, is, this is how much I love 90s action films. Even if they're super terrible. You already saw Broken Arrow in there. Chain Reaction. This is a horrible ass movie. But it's got Keanu Reeves for some reason. Trying, I don't know, to stop a nuclear meltdown. I'm just as lost as you guys. The Change Up. Changeling. Disturbing as shit. Chappy. <laughs> Two big guilty pleasures, the Charlie's Angels movies. Charlie's Angels and Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Fuck it. These movies, they're horrible. I really don't care. Child 44. Child's Play, the original one, Shout Factory Collection. Yes, I am going to announce every Shout Factory movie and that it's from the Shout Factory. Christine, underrated Steven Spielberg movie. A Christmas Story, the most annoying Christmas movie ever. Christopher Robin. Chronicle. Hello, fuck you, Josh Drank, you're an asshole. Cinderella. Cinderella Man. Two more big guilty pleasures. Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. These movies are not good, but I find enjoyment in watching them. So why the hell not? Here's the guilty pleasure 90s action kid in me. Cliffhanger. Have yet to see Cliffhanger, but I can't wait to watch it. A Clockwork Orange. 
Weird ass movie. Clockwork Orange. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Cloverfield. Ten Cloverfield Lane. Not the Cloverfield Paradox. That movie sucks. Coach Carter. Coco. Cold Pursuit. Collateral. Yo, homie. That my briefcase? Commando. You get down, y'all! Run! The Commuter. Every Liam Neeson action movie is the same. <laughs> Telling you guys, this is what I consider one of the big three of the 90s action movies. Con Air. Love Con Air. It's so stupid, but it's great. Concussion. The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. Great horror movies. Conspiracy Theory. Underrated 90s thriller. Constantine. Have yet to see it. Was going to try and watch that around Halloween time. It just didn't work out. Contact. Great sci-fi. Contraband. Eh, don't really need to own that Blu-ray. Copland. Cool Hand Luke. What we have here is failure to communicate. Corpse Bride. Count of Monte Cristo. This is the dumbest movie I probably own in this collection, but it's Cowboys and Aliens starring James Bond, Indiana Jones. Aliens want gold for some reason. Crank. Crawl. The Crazies. Crazy Heart. Skip a couple because... These are not in the alphabetized pile yet, but I do have uh, some childhood favorites. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, uh, Prince Caspian, and I've actually yet to see Voyage of the Dawn Treader. I've heard nothing but terrible things, so. Uh, but I, I actually really do like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian. I'm really excited to watch these again. Haven't seen these in a while. Next pile, we had The Crazies, then we had Crazy Heart, Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, that's it for The Crazies. I thought they were crazy. Creed, fantastic film. Creed 2, not as good as Creed, but still great. Criminal, this is the prime example of what happens when you blind buy without seeing the movie in theaters because you think it looks interesting and it's actually a really bad movie. Crooked Arrow is the only lacrosse movie that's out there. Cure for Wellness, underrated. Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Criterion Collection. Daddy's Home. Not that good. Don't have Daddy's Home 2 because that movie sucks. Dallas Buyers Club. Dances with Wolves. Another shitty 90s action movie. Dante's Peak with Pierce Brosnan and Linda Hamilton. Man. What the hell do I buy? Dark City. Darkest Hour. Dark Man. Date Night. Dawn of the Dead. That's at, uh, that Dawn of the Dead is actually the Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead. I don't really like Zack Snyder all that much. I think he's an asshole. I think he's arrogant. I don't think he makes that great of films, but that's one of his better films. So, Daybreakers, underrated vampire movie. Dead Poet Society. Deadfall. Deadpool. Deadpool 2. The Death of Superman. You'll see a lot of animated dis uh DC films. I almost said Disney films, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Another shitty 90s action movie, Deep Blue Sea. This movie's bad. I love it. It's so bad, it's good. That might be a movie roast one day. Deep Water Horizon. The Deer Hunter. Defiance. These are all, like, stuck together for some reason. Deja Vu. Deliver Us from Evil. Creepy. Creepy horror movie, but eh. Demolition. One of Jill and Hall's weakest movies. Another shitty 90s action movie. Demolition Man. Love it. The Departed. That is not a shitty movie. That's actually a really good movie. The Descent. Detroit. The Disaster Artist. Love the Disaster Artist. District 9. Django Unchained. Do the right thing. 
Rest in peace, Danny Aiello. He came into my restaurant one time. Doctor Strange. Dodgeball. I'm white good. All right, now on to the next pile. Dog Soldiers. Shout Factory Collection. Check that out. It's an underrated movie. Dogma. Don John. Don't breathe. Donnie Brasco. Donnie Darko. Definitely not the sequel to Donnie Brasco. Dope. Doctor No. Classic Bond film. Dracula Untold. Drag Me to Hell. Dragged across concrete. Really long. Kind of boring. But I think it's well made. Dread. I am the law. I am the law. Law. Dress to kill. Drive. The drop. Dumb and Dumber. And I do have the sequel, Dumb and Dumber 2. Don't really like it. Again, that's a blind buy. Dumbo, the live action remake. Very underrated. I really don't see why critics hated that movie. Uh, one of the two 4K Ultra Blu-rays that I have, and that is Dunkirk. So I got two copies of this in Christmas of 2017. I got this copy, and then I got the actual Blu-ray. Decided to keep this copy because eventually one day I think I'm going to upgrade to 4K. I don't have a 4K player right now. I'm waiting for either Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 to come out. Um... But there are going to be some upgrades within this collection to 4K. Um, and then I'll probably start buying some more 4Ks, like for new releases. As long as they look good. Like, I mean, I would buy Bad Times at the El Royale again on 4K. But I don't like the look of the actual, like, 4K, like, border banner on it. So I'm going to keep that on Blu-ray. Because I, I like, I think it... I think it has a lot more art on it rather than this. But I like this cover for Dunkirk more than the actual Blu-ray. And, uh, and Dunkirk in 4K, I bet it's really great. E.T., the extraterrestrial phone home. Easy, A. Eh? Eddie the Eagle. The Edge. Edge of Darkness. Filmed uh, where I have family, Western Mass. The Edge of Seventeen. Edge of Tomorrow. Terrible cover, but what can you do? Eighth grade. Elf. Elysium. End of Watch. Ender's Game. Enemy of the State. Entrapment. Oh, Catherine. She shows. Two underrated movies, The Equalizer and The Equalizer 2. Very underrated movies, I think, at least. I don't think anybody else will agree with me on that, but that's how I feel. Equilibrium, another underrated movie. Eraser, you had better erased. 90s action movie. Escape from Alcatraz. Escape from New York, Shout Factory Collection. Escape Plan. Everest. Evil Dead remake. Movie's gross, but it's fun to watch around Halloween time. Ex Machina, great movie. Executive Decision, another 90s action movie, which I heard actually isn't that bad. I've yet to watch it yet, but I think, is Halle Berry in this? Oh, God. She is. Exodus, Gods and Kings, a movie that desperately needs a director's cut, even though it's already two and a half hours. The Exorcist, one of the most, one of the all-time classic horror movies. Not as scary. Don't think it holds up as much now. Um, I watched it for the first time a couple years ago. Uh, I think The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2 are actually scarier, but, but The Exorcist is up there. It's definitely top five horror movies. The Expendables trilogy, Expendables, Expendables 2, and Expendables 3. Expendables 3 sucks. The first one's and eh, second one's what I wanted from the first one, definitely what we needed from the, second, uh, from the third one. Eye in the Sky. Another 90s action movie, and it's a great one, Face Off. I love Face Off. The Faculty. Failure to Launch. Now, this is in my collection by accident. I ordered a movie from Best Buy one time, and they sent me the wrong one. So they sent me Failure to Launch instead of, I think it was Escape from Alcatraz. So I had to rebuy Escape from Alcatraz because I never received it from Best Buy. I got this instead. But I was like, you know what? This probably isn't horrible. I saw it 
when it first came out in 2006. I was like 12. I hadn't seen it in a while. So I'll check it out at some point. I mean, Bradley Cooper's in it. This can't be that bad. The Family. Disappointing movie, but oh well. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I really like that one. This one, fan, uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Slowly, slowly starting to hate this movie. Thought it was okay when I first saw it, but not anymore. Fargo. The Fast and Furious collection. The Fast and the Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious, which is the worst one. Tokyo Drift, which is the next worst one. Fast and Furious, the fourth one, which is the third worst one. This is where the series got better. Fast Five. Fast and Furious 6. Furious 7. Even more ridiculous. Kind of disappointed by the fate of the Furious. And then the uh, spinoff that's better than 7 and 8, uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Faster! Fences. Have yet to see Fences. Heard nothing but great things. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Bueller. Fever Pitch, for all you Boston Red Sox fans out there. A Few Good Men. You can't handle the truth! Field of Dreams. The Fifth Element. Such a, such a stupid movie with an over-the-top performance from Gary Oldman. I don't know why I have that in my collection. I remember not liking it that much, but what are you going to do? It was cheap as hell. Fight Club. Oh, broke the first two rules of Fight Club. The Fighter. Fighting with my family. Florence Pugh. Whew, continue, to, continue to be beautiful, please. Finding Nemo. Finding Dory. The Finest Hours. Underrated Disney film and one of Disney's few PG-13 films. First Man. Was actually really let down by First Man. Didn't think it was that great. Five Feet Apart. Flags of Our Fathers. Movie kind of disappointed me, too. I recently watched it last year. Yeah, I kind of disappointed the flags of my fathers. Flight. Anything with Denzel, I'm in. The Fly. Classic. Flyboys. Underrated war film. Focus. Love the first half of that movie. The second half of that movie just goes completely off the rails. The Foreigner. Underrated thriller. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forrest Gump. All-time classic. The Founder. Four Brothers, Boxcatcher, Frailty, Alright, alright, man, kind of movie, Free Fire, Free State of Jones, another man, kind of movie, The French Connection, Frequency, The original Friday the 13th, which I've heard nothing but terrible things. A lot of people don't really like this one. I have yet to watch it. I was going to watch it this past Halloween. I did a review of uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street instead. So this will probably be, and I've already done a review of uh, the original Halloween. So this will probably be next year's, uh, this will definitely be next year's, next year's spooktacular. The remake of Friday the 13th, that, this is like a porn movie released in theaters. Tell you that. Friends with Benefits. Fright Night, such a fun movie. Frighteners, yet to see it. Was gonna watch that, but just ran out of time. From Dust Till Dawn. From Paris with Love. From Russia with Love. Classic Bond film. Frozen. Give me a couple weeks and I'll have Frozen too. Fruitvale Station. The Fugitive. I didn't kill my wife! Fury. The Gambler. The Game. Game Night. Gangs of New York. I have yet to see Gangs of New York. I know, that's like a crime. Gangster Squad. Just too goddamn long. These movies, man, too long. Scorsese. Trim it down. Gattaca. Get Hard. I forgot I even had this movie. I remember it not being that good. Another blind buy. Get him to the Greek. Get out. Get the gringo. Ghost in the Shell. Underrated. I actually really liked Ghost in the Shell. I don't know what people were talking about when they said it was not very good. These shells are quickly emptying themselves. On to the next pile. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Uh, I don't hate Ghostbusters 2. 
a lot better than uh, Ghostbusters Answer the Call. Curious to see what Ghostbusters Afterlife is going to be like, though. The girl with the dragon tattoo. Gladiator. I will have my vengeance. This life or the next. Glory. <laughs> I should I should really just throw this one away. Gods of Egypt. Yeah, I'm throwing it away. Fuck that. Godzilla. Godzilla. King of the Monsters. Underrated. So the whole thing with God's going back to Gods of Egypt for a minute. My cousin and I were going to watch that. We watched that last year when he came down in January. And we were going to roast it. And then we just decided it was bad. It was bad. So we didn't end up roasting it. So now I can just toss it. I'm going to throw it away. Gone, baby. Gone. Gone, girl. Gone in 60 seconds. Horrible Nick Cage movie. Good morning, Vietnam! Good time. If you liked Uncut Gems, you will definitely like Good Time. Goodwill Hunting. Goodfellas. The Goonies. Classic. Love the Goonies. Gran Torino. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Gravity. Overrated as hell. Still a good movie. George Clooney is just Buzz Lightyear in space, though. That's all I gotta say. The Great Escape. The Great Gatsby. The Great Raid. The Greatest Showman. Such a good movie. The Greatest Showman. Alright, so you know how we had American Big and Captain before? Now we're getting into the Greens. Green Book. The Green Mile. Green Room. Green Zone. That's it for the Greens. I thought there were a lot more. Gremlins. Don't have Gremlins 2 yet. Trying, trying to get that. The Grey. The Guardian. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Volume 2 is underrated. The Guest. And this is going to topple over. Hacksaw Ridge. Halloween. Halloween 2. Every year I try to watch this. This is why I didn't... I, I was trying to review a Halloween movie every year. 2017 I reviewed the original one. 2018 I reviewed the new one. I was gonna review this in two thousand in two thousand nineteen. Every time I watched this movie, I, I fell asleep. So that's why I didn't get around to reviewing it. Uh, definitely gonna be this year. I skipped out on a Halloween. Skipped out on reviewing one of the Halloween movies this year, but I'm I'm get, or last year. Uh, I'm gonna watch it this year though. Oh, and uh, Shout Factory Collection. Halloween two thousand eighteen. I don't know why it's called Halloween, but whatever. Stupid ass movie. Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. It's a stupid movie, but it's got some stupid shit in it that I love. Happy Death Day. And then the sequel to Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day to You. More of a comedy, which is kind of weird. Happy Gilmore. Hard Rain. Holy shit. Terrible 90s action movie. I don't know how I got my hands on that, but I did. Hard Target. Van Damme punching a snake. Hardcore Henry. The Hate You Give. Have yet to watch The Hate You Give. I really gotta get on watching all these movies that I haven't watched yet. I should stop buying movies. The Hateful Eight. Underrated Tarantino. Heat. One of my favorite Michael Mann movies. Heavyweights. Hell or High Water. Hellboy. Saw that when I was like 10, and I have yet to see Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Not the new Hellboy. That movie is horrendous. Hereditary, one of the best horror films ever made. Hidden Figures. A History of Violence. Hitch. Hitman's Bodyguard, another movie I don't really have to own, but I, I really enjoy it. The Hobbit Trilogy, which is very underrated, especially The Battle of the Five Armies. An Unexpected Journey. Desolation of Smog. And the Battle of the Five Armies. Those are the theatrical cuts. I have the uh, extended cuts on Blu-ray. I've yet to watch the extended cuts, but I, I really enjoy the Hobbit movies. They're very underrated. Hocus Pocus. Home Alone. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. It's the only Home Alones that exist in my mind. Hook. Oh, there you are, Peter. Horrible Bosses. Horrible Bosses 2, man. 
Hostels. Hot Fuzz. Hot Tub Time Machine. Hotel Mumbai. Hotel Rwanda. The Hotel Transylvania Trilogy. You got Hotel Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania 2, and Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation. Underrated movies. I really like those movies. The How to Train Your Dragon Trilogy in their singulars. I have, I have the Hotel Transylvania collection on Blu-ray. Uh, box sets. Check out my box set video. Same with the How to Train Your Dragon movies. How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon 2. And then How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. This always bothers me when they don't do when they don't do it. When they do a numbered sequel and then the last one's not numbered. It bothers me. The Howling Shout Factory Collection. Hugo. The Hurt Locker. First movie I think I ever saw Jeremy Renner in. I Am Legend. I Know What You Did Last Summer. Don't have I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. I heard nothing but terrible things. I Love You Man. Funny as hell. I Robot. Have yet to see I Robot. And if I did see it, I was too young to remember it. I Tanya. Identity. Have yet to see that movie. Ides of March. Don't remember that movie. I know I watched it. Don't remember it, though. The Illusionist. Imitation Game. In Bruges. Who you can see? I shot out your fucking eye with a fucking blank. In the Heart of the Sea. Very boring movie, but I like the direction. In the Line of Fire. Great 90s thriller. In the Mouth of Madness. Shout Factory. These, these have great art. Like, how can you not want a shelf factory? In the name of the Father. In time. There's a couple that I've already forgotten. Goldfinger. Good Boys. Hustlers. Hustlers is okay. I gotta figure out what pile these were in. Inception. The Incredible Hulk. The Incredibles. And The Incredibles 2. Not as good as the first. Independence Day. Don't have Independence Day resurgence. That movie sucks. The Indian in the Cupboard. Infiltrator. Underrated film. Inherent Vice. Inner Space. Have you yet to see Inner Space? Heard it's pretty good though. Inside Man. Inside Out. Insidious. Have you yet to watch Insidious? Don't have the sequels. Insomnia. This will probably be my next one that I watch. I have yet to see it. I've seen bits and pieces of it in a film class, but I have yet to watch the whole thing. Instant Family. Interstellar. The Interview. That's a lot of controversy. Didn't even get released to theaters. Into the Wild. Another very old film uh, from 1950, yeah, 1956. In black and white. The original Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Great movie. Loved it. Invictus. Invincible. The Iron Giant. A classic. The Iron Man trilogy. Iron Man. Iron Man 2. Not that great. Iron Man 3 I think is underrated. It's the most fun of the Iron Man movies. So the, I, I'm going to get flat for saying that. The Island. Now... Now for the next pile. There's quite a bit more to go. Isle of Dogs. It. It Chapter 2. It Comes at Night. It Follows. The Italian Job. Jack Reacher. And the sequel to Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Kind of a shame we're not going to get more Jack Reacher movies, but it is going to be a series. Jaws, classic. The best shark movie ever made, and every no shark movie will ever top it. Jeepers Creepers, really disgusting movie. But watched it and viewed it last year, and I was like, holy shit. Trying to get the Shout Factory edition of that. Christmas classic here, Jingle All the Way. Put the cookie down! John Carter. Okay movie, don't really need to own that. Three of the best modern action movies. John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2 and John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Thank you for keeping the actual numbered. I don't... Thank you for keeping them actual numbers. You know, I don't mind if... 
I don't mind if they have subtitles. Just keep the numbers in there. Joker, great movie. A bit like Taxi Driver, though. The Judge. Jumanji. The first Jumanji. Stop saying that this movie doesn't exist and stop saying Welcome to the Jungle is the first one because it's not. This is the first one and it's an all-time classic. This one's okay. And let's stop saying the next level is the second one because it's not. It's the third one. Please, give me a little bit I'll have the third one. But goddamn, I hate how everybody's just ignoring the original Jumanji. Makes me mad. The live-action remake of The Jungle Book. My favorite Disney live-action remake. Working on getting the rest of these in their singular Blu-rays because I'm a completionist. Uh, Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, don't really like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Another animated DC movie, Justice League vs. The Fatal Five. A better Justice League movie than the live-action Justice League movie. K-19, The Widowmaker, directed by Catherine Bigelow. California, Brad Pitt's first film role. He's crazy in it. Kick-Ass. Don't have Kick-Ass 2. Don't really like Kick-Ass 2, so I think it kind of sucks. The Kid Who Would Be King, underrated film. Kill the Irishman. Kill the Messenger. Killer Clowns from Outer Space! Oh yeah! The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Kindergarten Cup! Bring the toy back to the cabinet! Bring it back! King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, underrated Guy Ritchie. Probably his weakest one, though. The original King Kong, the best King Kong. Three hour King Kong and three hour and 20 minute King Kong. Director's cut there. The King of Comedy, also what was, also what inspired Joker. The Kingdom. Kingdom of Heaven, Director's Cut. This is a great movie. The Director's Cut. The theatrical version's okay, but the Director's Cut is amazing. It's like a 10 out of 10 movie. Kingsman, The Secret Service. Kingsman, The Golden Circle, it's okay. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. A Knight's Tale. All right, now for the next pile. Jesus Christ, I'm only in the case. Knocked up. Kong Skull Island. Ooh. Krampus, underrated horror movie I like to watch around Christmas. This is one of the dumbest movies of all time. Crawl. You want to see a guy hike a mountain for 10 minutes? There's literally a 10 minute scene of a guy climbing a mountain. Kubo and the Two Strings. Love it. Great movie. LA Confidential. La La Land. Ladder 49. Lady Bird. Two big guilty pleasures of all time. Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider the Cradle of Life. They're dumb movies. I wish Angelina Jolie had made a third one, but I love them. They're so good. Last Action Hero. The Last King of Scotland. The Last of the Mohegans. The Last Samurai. The Last Stand. Last Vegas. That's it for Las Vegas. That's it for the last movies. Jesus. Law Abiding Citizen. Lawless. Layer Cake. The movie that got... Daniel Craig, the role of James Bond. A League of Their Own. Leave No Trace. Leaves of Grass. Legend. Oh, not as good as I remember. Not as good as I remember it being. The Lego Movie. The Lego Movie, the second part. The Lego Batman Movie. Those three are good. Lego Ninjago Movie is definitely the weakest. I don't hate it, though. Leon, The Professional. Les Miserables. I have yet to watch that because I'm not a huge fan of musicals and it's super goddamn long. Let's Be Cops. Letters from Iwo Jima. Liar, Liar. Life. Life of Pi. Lights Out. And a movie I had a huge change of heart on. People convinced me to like it. So I really thought about it more and I ended up like it. I gave it a really scathing review and that is The Lighthouse. I actually have come around on that movie. 
Limitless. Lincoln. The Lincoln Lion Man. <laughs> the Lion King, the original one, and I don't need to own this, but the live action or photorealistic uh, Lion King remake. It's okay. Great visuals. Great voice acting. Just the rest of the movies. All right, here we go. We are still in the L's. Little Shop of Horrors. Live by Night. The Lobster. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Classic Guy Ritchie. Logan. Best Wolverine film. Logan Lucky. London Has Fallen. The sequel to Olympus Has Fallen and the worst of the three Has Fallen movies. Lone Survivor. Looper. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, Theatrical Editions, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, Return of the King. Return of the King I remember watching in theaters. That was the first Lord of the Rings movie I saw in theaters, and I was completely enthralled. Lord of War. Lords of Dogtown. The Lost Boys. The Lost City of Z. Love, Simon. Lucky Number Seven. Lucy. Machinist. Christian Bale's best roles. Magnificent Seven. Not a great movie, but an enjoyable movie. Major League. Give me some time. I'll have the other two, even though I don't really like the other two. Again, I'm a completionist. Malcolm X. Man from Uncle. Man of Steel. It's alright. Man of Steel. Man on Fire. Manchurian Candidate. Martian, The Mask, Mask of Zorro, Alejandro de la Vega, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Please make a sequel to that movie. I think it's a very good movie, very underrated movie. Here we go. Matchstick Men, Max, Max Payne. Used to like this movie back in the day. Then I got it on Blu-ray, and then I rewatched it, and now I realize it sucks. And I still have it. It's not even bad that it's good. It's bad that it's bad. Uh, the Maze Runner trilogy. The Maze Runner. Maze Runner Scorch Trials. And Maze Runner The Death Cure. They're no, okay movies. They're decent movies. They're actually better than most YA adaptations. McFarland USA. <laughs> mean Girls. That's so fetch. Mean Streets. The Meg! It's a Megalodon. Megan Levy. Memento. Don't remake that. Come on, Hollywood. Don't be idiots. Men of Honor. Menace to Society. Michael Clayton. Midsummer. You liked Hereditary, you'll probably like this. This is a very fucked up movie. Nope. I'm telling you that right now. The Mighty Ducks Trilogy, The Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks, D2, The Mighty Ducks. D3, The Mighty Ducks. None of them are really good after the first one. The first one's not even, like, amazing or anything. But Miller's Crossing. Million Dollar Arm. Million Dollar Baby. Minority Report. Have yet to see Minority Report. I know, that's like a crime. But, again, I've yet to see a lot of these movies. Miracle. Misery. Shout Factory Collection. Didn't get to watch this last year. Gonna watch this this year for Halloween. Still have yet to see Misery. That's a crime, too. Miss Sloan. Underrated movie. Missing Link. Underrated. Moana. One of the best Disney films. Molly's Game. Great movie. Moneyball. Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Classic. Monuments Men. Moon. Moonlight. Motherless Brooklyn. Just picked this up the other day. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! The Mule. Munich. 
great Spielberg. I only have two Muppets movies, The Muppets, and I have yet to see this one, The Muppets Most Wanted. Please release Muppet Treasure Island on Blu-ray. God damn it. Please do it. Murder on the Orient Express. My Bloody Valentine. Not a great horror film, but oh well. My Cousin Vinny. It's one fucking ugly tie, Judge. Mystery Man. Mystic River. Napoleon Dynamite. Tina, you fat lord, come and get your dinner. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. National Treasure. National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets, finally getting a third National Treasure. They're guilty pleasures of mine. The Negotiator. Neighbors, not Neighbors 2, didn't like Neighbors 2, the movie sucks. The Never-Ending Story, Childhood. New Jack City, another great 90s thriller. The Next Three Days. The Nice Guys. Great movie. The Night Before. Nightcrawler. Best movie of 2014 and Jake Gyllenhaal's best performance. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Classic. The original Nightmare on Elm Street. Classic. Love that movie. The Ninth Gate. No Country for Old Men. Little overrated, but it's fine. No Escape. Noah. Not that great of a movie. Nocturnal Animals, crazy movie. Nonstop. Notorious, have you yet to see Notorious? I really gotta, I really gotta buckle down and watch this shit. The November Man. Now you see me. Now you see me too. Lenticular slipcover. Second one's okay. The first one, first one's not even that great. Everybody's just mind blown because of the twist. Oblivion. October Sky. Oculus, Office Space, Olympus Has Fallen, the best of the Has Fallen movies, and I thoroughly enjoy that movie. Once Upon a Time in America. I've yet to watch this. I've heard great things. Theatr uh, theatrical cut, 229 minutes. Extended director's cut, 251 minutes. Holy shit. Four hours and 11 minutes. you got to be kidding me. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Great Tarantino movie. Only the Brave. Have yet to see Only the Brave, sadly. Heard it's great. Operation Finale. Underrated movie. Orphan. Creepy ass movie. The Other Guys. Because you shot Derek Jeter. You should have shot A Rod. The Others. Out of the Furnace. Out of Time. The Outsiders. <laughs> Crazy 80s movie for you. Stallone trying to do a kids movie. Over the top. Oh my god. <laughs> Overlord. Pacific Rim. And I mean, I I enjoyed bits and pieces of it. Don't really think it's that great of a movie. Pacific Rim Uprising. It's okay. Paddington, please watch Paddington. Paddington 2, please watch Paddington 2. The Page Master, Childhood, Pain and Gain. Okay, Michael Bay film. Paranorman. Parasite. Just picked this up the other day. I'm really not good with foreign films, but I'm excited to check this out. I've heard nothing but great things. All of my Cinemania buddies have said it's great. So I'm very curious to check out Parasite. And I know letters from, you saw letters from Iwo Jima earlier in this uh, in this collection, in this video. Uh, I heard that that's foreign language too, so that's going to be hard to watch. It's going to be, that's going to be a challenge for me to watch too, but I'll get through it. Another shitty 90s action movie, Passenger 57 with Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah, Passenger 57, I thought it was Passenger 87, but no, Wesley Snipes now. The Patriots, great war movie. Patriots Day, it's close to home. Payback. Another terrible 90s action movie. The Peacemaker. I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for 90s action movies. The Peanut Butter Falcon. Great movie! I really hope you people watch that. The People Under the Stairs. Underrated Wes, un underrated Wes Craven film. You can All these Shout Factory editions, you can get them in regular editions, but get these ones, because these are... Uh, these are awesome. I love the artwork on these Shout Factory editions. So this is a Shout Factory, obviously. 
the People vs. Larry Flint's. I've yet to see that. I've heard nothing but great things. I just wanted it because Woody Harrelson's great. Edward Norton's great. A Perfect Getaway. Crazy movie. Peach Dragon. One of the more under-the-radar and underrated Disney live-action remakes. Phone Booth. Not a huge Joel Schumacher fan. Don't really like him as a director, but that movie's actually pretty good. Pineapple Express. The Pirates of the Caribbean series. Uh, the first one, Curse of the Black Pearl. The best one, and a great-ass movie. One of the best movies of all time. Second one, Dead Man's Chest. Third one, At World's End, which I think is better than Dead Man's Chest, I know. On Stranger Tides, the best of the sequels, that's the fourth one, and the fifth one, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I think that this is the worst one. Johnny Depp just seems really off. Jack seems really off in this one. Kind of a, re kind of a rehash of the first one, but I don't hate it. I really enjoy it. I do really enjoy watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, one of the few Thanksgiving movies. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect 2, yet to get Pitch Perfect 3. I've heard nothing but terrible things, and I've actually yet to watch those, so that's kind of a crime. I've heard that those two are actually pretty good. Place Beyond the Pines. The Planet of the Apes trilogy. We have Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and the personal best one, my personal favorite one in the trilogy, War for the Planet of the Apes. All three of those movies are just great. Love all three of them. Platoon. Point Break, another great 90s action movie, or is it so good? Pokemon, Detective Pikachu, all right movie. The Polar Express, Poltergeist, have yet to watch Poltergeist, I'm kind of afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to get like, cursed watching that movie, because there was a lot of curse, there's a lot of controversy with that movie. Popstar, Never Stop, Never Stopping, underrated and hilarious. The songs in that movie, fucking great. Yeah, hopefully Rome's done here. The Post. Not a great Spielberg film. Predestination. Premium Rush. The Prestige, one of Christopher Nolan's best. Pretty Women. I feel like this is a guilty pleasure. Actually, you have to watch Pretty Women. I've heard nothing but good things. Feel I feel like that's going to be a huge chick flick, but we'll see. Pride and Glory. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I just, I'm in love with Lily James. So, I'm just going to say that right now. Plus, fun to watch around Halloween time. Guilty Pleasure of Mine and a movie that isn't good, but I find super goddamn entertaining and introduced me to the world of Jake Gyllenhaal, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Again, not a great movie. Every time I watch it, though, I love watching it. I have a blast watching that movie. Not a great movie, but The Princess Bride. You have six fingers on your left hand. Movie I just recently rewatched, Prisoners. Great film. The Prodigy. Prometheus. Public Enemies. The Punisher. The Purge. Have yet to see The Purge. Don't have any of the other Purge movies. I was just like, Ooh, why bother? Purple Rain, starring Prince. Rest in peace, Prince. A Quiet Place, a movie I feel like we don't need a sequel to, but we're getting one anyway. Race. Raging Bull. Ralph Breaks the Internet, the sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. Rango. Ransom. Give me back my son! Ratatouille. Ready Player One. Real Steel. Another old movie for you that I really love. Rebel Without a Cause, starring James Dean. The Recruit. Red. Red 2. I actually have to throw this one in here because I forgot about this one. Ready or Not. Really great movie. Another classic 90s movie for you, starring Schwarzenegger. Red Heat. Awesome. Love it. Don't care what anybody says. Regression. Underrated film, and Emma Watson's really good at that. Reign of Fire, stupid ass movie. I don't know why I have that movie. Don't even ask. Reign of the Superman, the sequel to a movie you saw earlier, The Death of Superman, and they finally split this into two movies, which I think was smart. Not a, not 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 great, but but pretty good, pretty solid. Remember the Titans, classic Disney movie as always. 
Rescue Dawn. Reservoir Dogs. I actually got this signed by Harvey Keitel. I don't know if you can really see it because of the glare. But, but yeah, he signed it. Uh, so uh, he came into my restaurant one day. I knew that he was coming in the day before. So I had I had to get Harvey Keitel's signature or autograph somehow. And I was like, what movie do I have that would be perfect for Harvey Keitel to sign? I was like, Reservoir Dogs. The reason I haven't gotten rid of this, even though I have it in the Tarantino XX collection, um, is because Harvey Keitel signed it. He's a super down-to-earth person. He's a little intimidating to approach because it looks like he's kind of being, he kind of looks like he doesn't want anything to do with you, but once you approach him, he's a very approachable person. He's a very happy person. You know, he's, he's a very friendly person, so I was really happy to get Harvey Keitel's signature. And uh, I don't know how long ago that was. That was quite a while ago, though. But it was it was awesome meeting Harvey Keitel. Uh, we've had we've also had like Danny Aiello come in. Wasn't there? I don't think I, I think he I think I was there when he was there. But uh, this is going into a long story. But we get a we get a lot of Bruins players. We get a we get one Red Sox player. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we get some famous people where I work. The Revenant. Revenge movie cranks it up from a one to an eleven very quick. Ride Along. Don't have Ride Along 2. That movie sucks. The right stuff. Have yet to see it because it's 193 minutes. Rise of the Guardians. Risen. Risky Business. Road to Perdition. Robin Hood with uh, Russell Crowe. It's alright, I guess. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Sadly, I have not seen this movie yet. I cannot wait to watch this and watch Kevin Costner fail. At a British accent, my cousin said it's hilarious. I gotta, I gotta watch that. I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to watch that now. That's probably gonna be my next one. RoboCop remake, not a bad remake. I think it's kind of underrated, honestly. The best Michael Bay film ever released, The Rock. Welcome to The Rock. Rocket Man. Taron Edgerton got robbed of best of a best actor nomination, and I'm pretty pissed. Underrated Guy Ritchie film, Rock and Roller. Rogue One, Ronin, Room, Rounders, underrated uh, Edward Norton and Matt Damon. Rumble in the Bronx, I love 90s action movies, I'm telling you. Run All Night, The Running Man, Running Scared, oh, did I just break the case? I certainly did. Anywho. Running Scare. It's an old case. It's old anyway, so. I remember I got a used store for like three bucks. Rush. Chris Hemsworth. Great movie. SWAT. Kind of a stupid movie, but doesn't really make that much sense. David Ayer wrote that, and he's hit or miss, as you, you can tell with Suicide Squad. Safe House. Under I think Safe House is underrated, honestly. The Sandlot. Love the Sandlot. Saturday Night Fever. Oh, yeah. Now for the next pile. Sausage Party. Hilarious. I remember kid, I remember a parent brought her five-year-old kids into that, and then she had to take them out at the end. Oh, you see, you haven't seen the end of that. Savages. This movie is very good up until the end. The entire ending of this movie kills the entire movie. I don't know why they will do that. Saving Private Ryan. Fantastic war film. Starface. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Underrated. Underrated. And it's a PG-13 horror movie. And they actually made it work. I'm really surprised that they did. Schindler's List. Great movie. Man. School of Rock. Oh, you don't know the... Oh, the man? You don't know the man? The score. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Have yet to see it. God damn. I gotta catch up. Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Scream. Great horror film. I'm gonna review that this year. Scream 2. Not as good as the first one, but still great. Scre Scream 3. I do not really like Scream 3. I think it's the weakest. I haven't seen, Sc Sc I haven't seen Scream 4 or Scriptorum yet. So I can't really comment as to whether or not it's better or worse than Scriforum, but I out of those three, 
I don't really like Scream Three. I think it's I think it's very mediocre compared to the first two. Scrooged. Searching. Selma. Seven. What's in the box? Seven Psychopaths. Serenity on 4K. So this is the sequel to the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Firefly Show. I'm really curious. I haven't seen Serenity, so I'm curious to, please let drop me a comment in the comment section below. I have to watch Firefly to understand what's going on in Serenity. I feel like I don't, but I really hope I don't have to. <laughs> Another shitty 90s action movie from Shout Factory. The Shadow. The sun is shining, but the ice is slippery. You go on and on about the shadow. Shaft from 2000. Not the new Shaft. That, that's not that great. That movie's not that great either, but Christian Bale's a good bad guy in that. The Shallows. Decent shark movie. The Shape of Water. Shaun of the Dead. The Shawshank Redemption. Amazing film. Shazam! Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows. Camp of Finally, we're getting a third one next year. The Shining. Here's Johnny. Give me a week and I'll have Dr. Sleep. Shooter. Shutter Island. Sicario. And the sequel to Sicario, which I think is a bit underrated, yet I can see why people didn't like it. Sicario Day of the Soldado. Now for the next pile. The Siege. Signs. Silence. Under Overlook scores easy film. The Silence of the Lambs. Put the lotion in the baskets. Silver Lanny's Playbook. A Simple Favor. The Simpsons movie. Sin City. The Sisters Brothers. The Sixth Sense. Sky High, classic childhood movie, and I still love it. I don't care what anybody says. Skyfall, the best Bond film. I'll be talking about that very soon, if not after this video is posted. And my review for Skyfall might be up. I don't know. Sleepers. Sleepless, not a great film, but I think it's I think it's a lot better than people make it out to be. Sling Blade. Like some of them French trap potatoes. Mm -hmm. Slither. Shout Factory Collection. Written and directed by James Gunn. Awesome. Really, Nathan Fillion's in it, too. It's great. I love it. Slumdog Millionaire. I'm looking right at it in the camera. How did I hesitate? Snake Eyes. I guarantee, I haven't seen this, but I guarantee you it's definitely a freak out Nicolas Cage performance. If he does not freak out in this movie, I will instantly hate it. Snatch. Guy Ritchie's best. Snowden. Snowpiercer. Social Network. I hate Jesse Eisenberg, but he's pretty good in that. Solo, a Star Wars story. Underrated, yet didn't need to be made. Source Code. Southpaw. Space Jam. Why are we doing a Space Jam 2 with LeBron? Come on. Give me a friggin' break. Spaceballs. Sold to comb the desert. Spectre. Underrated Bond film. Can't wait to talk about it. Might already be up before this video is even posted. Who knows? Speed. Great 90s action film. Not Speed 2 Cruise Control. That movie sucks. Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Far From Home. Like it better. Like it more than Homecoming. I'll say that. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Best Spider-Man movie ever made. Split. I think Split's okay. I don't, I don't get the hype behind it. Spotlight. Spring Breakers. Spy. Spy Game. Stakeland. Check this movie out if you haven't checked it out. Stand By Me. Standoff. One of the better straight to DVD. One of the better straights of video films, but still not a good movie. Star is Born. Great movie. The, the Star Trek trilogy. Star Trek 09. 
Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond, which actually might be the best of those Star Trek movies. All right, so we have, next up, the entire Star Wars Skywalker saga of what has been released so far. I mean, Episode Nine's in theaters now, so give me a couple months and I'll have The Rise of Skywalker, the Fa Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars, A New Hope, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars The Last Jedi, the best Star Wars movie, don't care what anybody says. And give me a couple months I'll have The Rise of Skywalker. Starship Troopers, State of Play, Steve Jobs, Stir of Echoes, yet to see that, Stone Cold, great movie. Well, not really, but the 90s action movie, what do you expect? Straight Outta Compton. That is a great movie, Straight Outta Compton. The Strangers, creepy-ass movie. I think it's very underrated, and Shout Factory Collection. Movie scares me every time. Those masks are just creepy. Street Kings. Streets of Fire, Shout Factory Collection. Stronger. Great Gyllenhaal performance. Better, I, th I like that more than Patriot's Day, honestly. Almost done, guys. I swear to God, we are almost done. Try and, try and go a little quicker. Another classic 90s action movie that I think is horrible that it's great. Sudden Death with Van Damme. Just watched that with my brother the other night. He saw it for the first time. He loved it. Suicide Squad. Hell to pay. Better movie than, better movie than the Suicide Squad movie. Sully, Sunshine, great movie, Super 8, wish that this was part of the Cloverfield uh, universe, Super Troopers, Super Bad, Superman, Batman, Apocalypse, Survivor, horrible movie, straight to DVD as well, don't know why I got it, probably because Pierce Brosnan's a bad guy. Suspiria, weird ass horror movie. I saw the original one, the original one's way better. Tag, funny movie. Taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3. Talladega Nights. Ricky, you can walk. Don't be kind, don't be telling me I can walk! Taxi Driver. You talking to me? You talking to me? Who the fuck do you think you are? Team America World Police. Tears of the Sun, Ted, Ted 2, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, Tequila Sunrise. I have the first four Terminators in a box set, so because I'm a completionist, I totally despise this movie. Terminator Genesis, that movie is horrible, but Terminator Dark Fate is a lot better. This is the real Terminator 3. So you can just watch Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and Terminator Dark Fate when you do your Terminator marathon. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's my boy. Not a great Adam Sandler movie. I don't know why I have it. There Will Be Blood. Have yet to watch it. Because it's so goddamn long. Stop with these long movies, people. They Live. Shout Factory Collection. Love it. I've come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. The Thing, a classic Shout Factory edition as well. This is the end. Thor. Thor the Dark World. Not great Thor the Dark World, but Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is great. I was just, Somebody at work just watched this for the first time, and we just kept quoting it. It is so great. Love Thor Ragnarok. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Great movie. Three Kings, THX, hold on, Thunderball comes before THX 1138, George Lucas's first film, and this is a director's cut, so I'm kind of scared to know what he cut or changed, because he's notorious for that. A time to Kill, yes they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! My voice just cracked. 
the 2018 Tomb Raider starring Alicia Vikander. Decent movie, not great, but step in the right direction for video game movies. Tombstone. Tommy Boy. Tomorrowland. Top Gun. Can't wait for Top Gun 2. Total Recall. The Town. Filmed right here in my neighborhood in Boston in the North End. Crazy how they turned a laundromat into a bank. Toy Story. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. In the, cr in the criminally underrated Toy Story 4 that people don't think needs to exist, but it's a great movie and people can't realize that because they're like, it's not that 3. Well, stops at 4 now. Traffic. Training Day. Traitor. The Transporter. Transporter 2. Eh, Transporter 3. Not a huge fan of Transporter 3. I think it's really boring. Treasure Planet. If any live, if any Disney movie gets a live action remake, it's Treasure Planet. This movie is so underrated. It's supposed to do a sequel, but nobody went out to see it. Criminal. That's criminal. That's, that's a criminal offense. You should be in jail. Trick or Treat. I love Trick or Treat. Shout Factory Edition. Triple Nine. Okay, Thriller. Not great. Tropic Thunder. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Troy. Director's Cuts. I really like Troy. I don't like how they changed the music in the Director's Cut, though. True Grit. Unbroken. Didn't see Unbroken 2. Pointless. Don't want to. And I heard it's horrible. Under Siege, another terrible 90s action movie, but I love it. It stars Steven Seagal. I'm just the cook! Unforgiven. Unknown. Unsane. Unstoppable. The Untouchables, great gangster film. Up, love Up. Upgrade, biggest surprise of what year was this? Was this 2018? Biggest surprise of 2018. Could not believe how great that movie was. Urban Legend, not a great horror movie, but I love the look of this Shout Factory Blu ray. Another Shout Factory. <laughs> one, of the most, one of the most underrated films of the year that people hate for no reason Us. Great movie. Don't have that music stuck in your head forever. The Usual Suspects. Great movie. Be for Vendetta. Remember, remember. The 5th of November. Valkyrie. Van Helsing. A guilty pleasure. Wow, this movie is bad. But I love watching it around Halloween time. This might actually be a movie roast this year at Halloween. I've been trying to watch this for the past two years and just ran out of time during October. Definitely want to watch it this year, if not next year. It's so dumb. It's so... It's intentionally a dumb movie. People don't realize that. They gave it poor reviews, and it's like, it's intentionally bad people. Like, Steven Summers knows that. Vice. Waiting. Do not have still waiting. That movie sucks. Walk, uh, The Walk. I almost said walking. A Walk Among the Tombstones. Not a stereotypical Liam Neeson action movie. Thank God. Walk the Line. Great film. Wall Street. Wally. Remember, it took me forever to watch Wally, -E. and then I watched it, and I was like, I was not bored. That was amazing. Wanted knows exactly what it is. War, not a great movie. Picked it up at Newberry Comics for like three ninety nine. And I was like, I might as well just keep it then. War Dogs, War of the Worlds. You know, I actually really do like War of the Worlds. I think that the first two thirds are really fantastic. I'm not. I'm not one of those people that hates the third act of that movie either. I it, A lot of people don't really like it, but I actually really do enjoy War of the Worlds. The entire thing. I, 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 I like how the third act is a lot different. Warrior. Great movie. The Warriors from the 1970s. One of Zack Snyder's not bad films. I mean, is it, is it really that good? Anyways, is 300 really that good? Watchmen, director's cut. Three hour cut? Of course, Zack Snyder's gotta make everything three hours. The Water Boy. 
<laughs> Waterworld. This movie I haven't watched yet. I've heard nothing but terrible things, and I can't wait to just make fun of it and make fun of Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner? I don't know why Kevin Costner is an actor. He's not an actor. We own the night. We were soldiers. We are the Millers. Wedding Crashers. Love Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers is a great film. The Wedding Ringer. Not a bad film. Got bad reviews. Didn't think it was that bad. What We Do in the Shadows. Great Taika Waititi film. When the Game Stands Tall. Pretty dark subject matter for a movie that's rated PG. Whiplash. Not my tempo. No, I love that movie. White House Down. The worst version of Olympus Has Fallen. And the PG-13 rated version of Olympus Has Fallen. Movie I haven't watched yet. Everybody's telling me to watch it. Widows. I've heard a lot of mixed things. Got great critical reception and audiences didn't really like it. But we'll see. A great old western from 1969. The Wild Bunch. Great film. Love The Wild Bunch. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This movie's fucking creepy. I'll say that. Wind River. Winter's Bone. The Witch. Without a Paddle. Witness! Oh my god, can you believe it? We are on the last pile. Holy shit, we made it. The Wizard of Oz. Oldest film I had. And it's a great film. At that. I used to be really afraid of The Wicked Witch when I was little. The Wolf of Wall Street. Great debut performance from Margot Robbie. The Wolverine. The Women in Black. Wonder Woman. This movie's not that good, honestly. I, I think it's okay. Yeah, I loved it when I first saw it. Liked it when I rewatched it. Didn't like the third act when I rewatched it. And then with subsequent rewatches, it's just too in your face. Don't. I think that this is a better Wonder Woman movie. Wonder Woman Bloodlines. Gal Gadot's acting is horrible, too. World War Z. Wreck-It Ralph. My favorite X-Men movie, X-Men Days of Future Past. Underrated X-Men movie. X-Men Apocalypse, another underrated yet not great X-Men film, X-Men Dark Phoenix. It is definitely underrated. People just wanted to hate it because it went to Disney and people are just like, just put it in the MCU. And so nobody really cares about it. And I, I can see why, but I do think Dark Phoenix is a bit underrated and just hated for no reason. You were never really here. Young Frankenstein. Young Guns. Don't have Young Guns too. working. Your Highness. Dumb, stupid comedy, but I like it. Your Next. You Only Live Twice. Coming Soon is on Her Majesty's Secret Service. So, so yep. Yeah, uh, Zero Dark Thirty. Zo uh, Zodiac. Zombieland. Zombieland Double Tap. Not as good as the first one. And last but not least, Zootopia. Well, that is my entire Blu-ray collection, guys. I need a nap after doing that. I in between in between takes, I re-alphabetize these two shelves. Now I gotta re-alphabetize this shelf and that tower with some other. Man, whew. Took a lot longer than I expected, but guys, thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for hanging in there with me for this Blu-ray collection. There are over a thousand of these. I can definitely tell you in the description how many there are. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.